Hello Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do another art journal. And uh, I already covered my pages with black gesso this time because I'm going to create a black page. Uh, and uh, I'm starting to create my background using this beautiful copper acrylic paint from Stamperia. These tubes are heavy body paints. They are called Vivace collection. I'm going to put all the links down below anyway. So it's easier for you to find. Uh, I'm applying my paint with a sponge. Uh, this is a makeup sponge that I use. And uh, I'm just applying it around the corners just to create a nice uh, border. And also a little bit on the page uh, making it look like a little bit foggy smoke. and easy now it's time to dry it before I do anything I will do some uh, splashes with the same paint I watered it down a little bit and I am splashing all around the page to give more interest I dried this as well I'm in love with these uh, rice papers uh, of Stamperia they have so many uh, designs uh, and I showed it in my previous projects uh, if you want to catch it I will uh, put the link down below I showed many rice papers um, and uh, I'm going to use this uh, to have this as my focal point so I'm cutting it uh, with my scissors uh, to have this butterfly and the big cloak and I will cut the small butterfly as well I didn't want to bore you with all my cutting so it's ready now it fits perfectly to my page so I'm going to stick it I'm using my mixed media uh, glue from Stamperia again and uh, I'm applying it all over my rice paper uh, to stick it on my page. Rice papers are really inexpensive as well to have these beautiful uh, details uh, on your projects so I would really recommend them. Uh, I'm going to cut my little butterfly too. Uh, also the colors are matching so there will be uh, harmony uh, on my page. I will stick it on the other corner of my page. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit off camera here, but I think it's clear. So let's move on to the next rice paper. I thought the, the concept of these two papers match, so I wanted to use both of them. And I uh, realized uh, later on that uh, I could actually add these on top of my big clock and butterflies on top so you will see now how I fixed that problem with my new idea that came to me later. The glue is not uh, dry yet so I could easily remove it if it was a little bit late probably more difficult uh, and this part uh, I will uh, use my craft knife to cut the butterfly gently without uh, damaging my uh, uh, journal as well. I'm really applying it so soft, I'm not uh, pressing down, just enough to cut the thin rice paper and I managed it quite fine. So now I'm going to cut a few of these uh, clocks as well uh, to complete my project and uh, create a decoupage of uh, clocks. Here they are, I cut uh, three of them. I will make a cluster of them on top of my big clock uh, so it will cover the gap of the butterfly as well and I'm going to stick the butterfly with the dimension on top. And for my other butterfly I took it out as well. I'm using these beautiful uh, wooden shapes. Again you will find everything, uh, all the products down below. Uh, and I'm going to color this uh, with my uh, aqua spray in turquoise color very easily because I knew I was going to stick the other butterfly on top anyway uh, so it becomes a two colored uh, uh, butterfly and uh, I'm raising it as well with this uh, uh, foam tape uh, sticking it between the butterfly and the wooden shape now it's time to stick uh, all the other cloaks and create my cluster 
Don't do the mistakes that I do. Uh, don't apply the glues uh, over your uh, journals. Better to apply it on the craft table. And for the butterfly, uh, I will raise it so I can have a little bit dimension on the page, which will look nicer. So I am putting my foam tape uh, behind my butterfly and sticking it on the other elements. I will do a little bit of uh, droplets with this color as well that I colored the butterfly uh, to bring the page together. This will create a nice uh, unity. And now I will stick my uh, other butterfly on the other corner of the page. And to add a little bit more interest, it came to my mind that I have these beautiful cloaks uh, with its uh, elements. So I will add the center of these uh, cloaks uh, to my big cloak. Uh, so it will look like it belongs to that and it will add again a nice dimension and interest. Uh, I will color these two pieces uh, with my copper uh, paint again. Because I have this color uh, at the background, uh, it will look nice. I also found this mini bread uh, in my stash that uh, I'm sticking these two pieces and I will stick this bread uh, in the middle of these uh, to add a metal uh, element. And I will stick all of them on my cloak uh, on the page. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I stamped uh, some uh, background image at the background uh, with some cloaks and script. Uh, I put uh, a link down below uh, to a stamp that is similar to one I used. And I used the same copper paint to stamp the image. Lastly, I decided to add uh, more foam tape to my butterfly uh, on the wings as well because they were going down a little bit. So I will complete this detail. For my sentiment, I printed this Time Flies uh, coat uh, on my printer and uh, it was black and white. Uh, for the white parts, I used my copper gel pen to color it uh, to match the uh, page. So the page is finished. Uh, I hope you like it. I love the metal colors uh, behind the uh, black background. Uh, all the elements, all the tissue papers that I used. I hope you like my projects. If you do, please don't forget to give me thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. That's how I know uh, you like them. As I said, you will find the list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.